It is now in session. Today is December 29th, 2021, approximately 4.30. And this meeting is live streamed in accordance with the COVID-19 safety guidelines issued by New York State. Attendees are Thomas McNaughton, Linda Jackson Chalmers, and Michael Cassidy, commissioners. Phil Banaszek, City of Albany Assistant Corp Counsel. Tatiana Diaz, City of Albany Human Resources Generalist 3, and Talani Alamad. Is that correct, Talani? Is that the appropriate pronunciation, I hope? Alamade. Alamade, okay. City of Albany yeah. Human Resources Director, and thank you. Meeting is now called to order. Uh, have the commissioners had an opportunity to uh, read and approve the November 22nd meeting minutes? Yes, I move to accept the uh, minutes of the November 22nd, 2021 meeting. Seconded. Aye. Yeah. Uh, item agenda three, report of appointments to the competitive, non-competitive exempt and labor class. The civil service office reported on the following permanent appointments to the competitive class. To Shauna Rogers, payroll administrator in, in the Department of Administrative Services, 11-30-2021. Dylan Spring, financial analyst in general services, 11-30-2021. Civil Service Office reported on the following provisional appointments in the competitive class. Gretchen Ingersoll, information clerk, general services, 10-25-2021. Carly Tracy, Crime Analyst, Albany Police Department, 11-8-2021. Terrence Chandler, Maintenance Assistance, I'm sorry, Assistant, Albany Community Development Agency, 11-8-2021. James Hallou, Associate Computer Software Tech, Police Department, 11-9-2021. Lauren Darman, Vital, Vital Statistics Specialist, Department of Vital Statistics, 11-15-2021. Aaron Glennon, Principal Planner, Department of Planning, 11-22-2021. Eric Hurley, Senior Water Treatment Plant Operator. Joe Reisdorf, Chief Water Treatment Plant Operator. And Rodney Smith, Assistant Chief Water Treatment Plant Operator. All Water and Water Supply, all 11-29-2021. Alfonso Lester, Information Clerk, Buildings and Regulatory Compliance. Uh, Amanda Pierce, Permit Technician, Buildings and Regulatory Compliance, both on 12-6-2021. Jocelyn Jaspal, Planner, Department of Planning, 12-6-2021. Vincent Giovannone, Code Enforcement Inspector, Buildings and Regulatory Compliance, 12-6-2021. Jessica Summers, Water Treatment Plantment or Water Treat Plant Assistant Operator. Water and Water Supply, 12-15-2021. I have a note, uh, Tom. Yes. So for Aaron and Rodney, I should have deleted them off the, the top section. You'll see them listed next. They're actually provisional promotions in the competitive class. So you'll see Aaron Glennon and Rodney Smith that were in the previous section listed there, and I'll correct the uh, agenda. Okay, let the record reflect that, please. Civil Service Office reported on the following provisional promotions in the competitive class. Aaron Glennon, Principal Planner, Department of Planning, 11-22-2021. Palomi Sen, Planner, Department of Planning, 11-22-2021. Rodney Smith, Assistant Chief Water Treatment Plant Operator, Water and Water Supply, 11-29-2021. Civil Service report on the following non-competitive class appointments. Edward Stallworth, Laborer 3, Water and Water Supply, 10-13-2021. Irving Slaughter, Laborer 2, General Services, 10-21-2021. Joshua Haynes, Laborer 3, Water and Water Supply, 10-27-2021. Jeffrey Multari, Refuse Equipment Operator, General Services, 1028-2021. James Holmes, 
Sanitation Worker, General Services, 11 4 2021. Dan Futia, Labor Foreman, Department of Police, 11 22 2021. Guy Jacobs, School Crossing Officers, Department of Police, 11 22 2021. Lakia White, Recreation Assistant, Department of Recreation, 11 29 2021. Isaiah Harris, Laborer 2, Department of Recreation, 11 30 2021. Ernest Smith III, Laborer 2, Recreation, 12-6-2021. Rafal Mazurik, Laborer 3, Water and Water Supply, 12-8-2021. Civil Service Office reported on the following labor class appointments. Shannon Yagel, Custodial Worker, Department of Police, 11 I'm sorry, 11-1-2021. Agenda Item 5. Police officer list 63-027 non-selection. Following candidates are disqualified for failure to respond to the canvas. Bear with me on this one, it'll be lengthy. Connor Adams, Austin Ellis, Michael Lugo, Francis Santander, Logan Alex Alexanian, Michael Engwer, Ricardus Lucas Shunas, Joseph Santiago, Brandon Albertson, Kevin Estrada, Raymond Marr, Marco Santo Massino, Ryan Albright, Kevin Foth, Anissa Manreca, Robert Sardinia, Gen Jenica Albright, Celine Felicello, Dominic Marinucci, William Sass Jr., Griffin Allen, Brittany Ferenzi, Kaylin Marsh, Austin Schlenker, Darren Allen, Hunter Finley, James Marks, Jillian Chiquetti, Marcus Allman, James Fiorini, Nathaniel Massick, Austin Scott, Arafat Alshega, Cameron Flynn, Errolson Matos, Gaith Shaheen, Stephen Alvarez, Rebecca Ford, James McCabe, Navi Shaw, Antonio, Antonio Archina, Alec Ferezzi, James McPartland, Connor Simpson, Rhea Armstrong, Zach Baird, Shannon Barrett, Anthony Barsoom, Ethan Bartlett, Tavita Bestale, Jeremy Bauer, Michael Beers, Emily Bender, Quentin Benjamin, Colin Bennett, Romaine Bennett, Joseph Benzinger, Jonathan Bernhardt, John Bassett, Joseph Bintz, Kira Blass, Cheyenne Bob, Stefan Boldish, Dwayne Bauk, Dylan Bowman, Raymond, Br I'm sorry, Ronald Brait. Ryan Brennan, Dustin Brooker, Marcus Brown, Cole Brown, Brittany Buckley, Carl Burkhart, Andrew Campano, Gianna Capone, Connor Carey, Sean Carey, Joseph Carroll, Vito Casalnova, Stefan Celestino, Paul, Paul Salucci, Patrick Chamberlain, Jeffrey Chaparro, Brian Chappell, Eric Charlin, Marquis Chisholm, Jose Chuchuka, Nicholas Churchill, Andrew Sino, Andrew Frazier, Robert French, Joshua Fugit, James Futia, Jeshua Galusha, Taylor Gamash, Calvin Garcia, Cody Garner, Gabriella Garofalo, Daniel Geary, Travis Gibo, Matthew Gianella, Michael Gillingham, Anthony Giordano, Julia Glass, Keith Graham, Zachary Graham, Heinz Grandarath, Alexander Granger, Angela Grant, Quinnell Grimes, Stefan Greenidge, Kiernan Hanley, Cody Hansen, Nasabula Hashimi, Brendan Haverty, Seth Hawk, Calvin Helms, Kristen Henderson, Ashless Hendry, Joshua Henry, Laney Hernandez, Grayson Hayward, James Hilton, Aaron Hinman, Dylan Hitchkiss, Corey Holloman, Seamus Honeywell, Zachary Houston, Ryan Hughes, Brandon Jack, Mamadou Jallo, Derek James, Zishan Janjua, Evan McShane, James Mellon III, Hira Merritt, Matthew Machete, Kirkland Mahalik, Nicholas Milani, Kimberly Miller, Pierre Millette, 
Charles Milos, Erica Mitchell, James Mitchell, Caitlin Mitchell, Vincent Morales, Jose Morales, Isaiah Morant, Nadia Moses, Abhinav Montapali, Robert Muir, Kevin Malady, Austin Mulroy, Marilyn Mundell, Juan Mun Mungua, Andre Munoz, Bridget Murphy, Dimitri Murray, Taylor Mutsafago, Michael Nadeau, Jared Nash, Ryan Newman, Ryan Nicholson, Caitlin Nolan, Thomas Nolan III, Tyler Novak, Ryan O'Donoghue, Kenneth Orton, Priscilla Oyandadel Hernandez, Alejandro Peraza, Erica Perry, Azini Paterkin, Taylor Pettis, Brad Pincus, Thomas Pleat, Jacob Popiel, John Pavaramo, Pavar Pavaromo, no, I'm sorry, Harinder Singh, Gersharan Singh, Ali Sly, Ryan Slocum, Floyd Smalls, Ba So, Guy Suma, Taryn Spear, Charles Spurbeck, Brian Stanchuk, Elijah Stay, Tucson Steffens, Brandon Stewart, jo Joseph Stiglmeyer, Renee Stone, Alexandra Storm, Rodney Strickland, Tyler Schuchowski, Michael Taliaferro, Kelly Talerko, Anthony Tarantino, Tashan Taylor, Justin Taylor, Andrew Taylor, Nicholas Terry, Taylor Thackeray, Nicholas Thomas, Alyssa Thomas, Devonte Thornton, Jennifer Tolentino, Joseph Tortello, Stella Trumper, Joshua Tucker, John Tuma II, Tyler Ullman, Morgan Umholtz, Richie Vadney, Pedro Valentin Santiago, Anthony Volano, Gianna Vitale, Robert Bizzolio, Aliqua Walker, Joseph Walkup, Chaim Walters, oh, oh. Leah Clemens, Alred Collins, Leah Contini, Daniel Conway, Brandon Cosme, Chad Cox, Todd Cox, Thomas Crowley, Mark Cusano, Zeke Daggett, Kalia Davis, Avriana, Avriana Davis, Ian Decker, Andrew Dean, Jeremiah DiGiorgio, Jack Domino, Brian DeRoshi, Mackenzie Desmond, Jacob DeTerrily, Florisan DeJuste, Youssef Adelimi, Mark Egan, Gary Jeffries, Harshan Juhal, Christopher Joseph, Davis Cakley, Sanu Preet Kaur, Lauren Kolak, Angelo Kress, Kira Lachansky, Eric LeClaire, Nicholas Latella, Jonathan Laura, Ryan Law Lawyer, Kyle Liebach, Sean Lenahan, Michael Leonardo, Joseph Lewis, Lewis IV, Casey Leyendecker, Alicia Liebrook, Andy Lynn, Dylan List, Andrea Livingston, Jeffrey Lord, Aman Powell, Tremaine Pringle, Michael Prulux, Abbas Kasim, Matthew Radam, Chris Ramos, Eric Rondio, Lamario Reyes, Michael Reynolds, Brittany Richmond, Devin Rios, Alejandro Rivera Colon, Cameron Roberts, Felix Rodriguez, William Rowe, Michael Rolla, Andrew Wallens, Rollins, Matthew Romano, Devin Rondo, Christopher Roscoe, Brandon Rumley, Joseph Sayada, Dylan Warner, Mazahar Warrior, Tyler Weaver, Brandon Weed, Kyle Weiss Kittle, Allison Weiss, Tyler White, Timothy Wiggins II, Ryan Willits, Caitlin Wiley, Willie, I'm sorry, Sean Williams, Yaquan Williams, Sherrod Williams, Rolante Wilson, Brandon Wilson, Sadea Wilson, Brandon Wright, Joseph Yanni, and Taylor Zwiajax. I should be getting paid by the name. <laughs> that was impressive, Commissioner. That was really good. Yes, perfect. Agenda item number five, firefighter list number 63-185, non-selection, not recommended for hire after psychological testing and evaluation, one candidate. We have the initials of that candidate, Tatiana? Um, I believe that we're not supposed to share initials for it. Um, Only in the event of an appeal. All right. So I the, the candidate is... DM. That, that's fine. Only in, uh, you're right. I think only in the event of an appeal. That's fine. Um, our, uh, agenda item six, establishment of eligible lists, customer contact specialist. Tatiana? 
Yep. Let me just that part. Um, whereas an examination for the position of con customer contact specialist was held on the 17th day of July, 2021. And whereas the New York State Department of Civil Service has rated the exam and transmitted the scores to the City of Albany Civil Service Office, now there be resolved that an eligible list containing consisting of two names for the position of cu customer contact specialist is hereby established on December 29th, 2021 for four years or until December 28th, 2025. Okay, I, I I make the motion that we accept the list. I second. Aye. Are we upholding the disqualification, the non-selection, the previous one? All of I'm them? Sorry. Yes. I make the recommendation uh, that we accept the non-selection for article for agenda item number five. Um, the uh, not recommended for higher after psychological testing evaluation. I make the motion we accept that list or that's not selection. I second. Aye. Passed and carried. Agenda item seven. Okay. Um, um, city Arborist, of, creation of yep. job of new job specifications, City Arborist. Um, this is the new position that's going to actually be overseeing and supervising the whole forestry division for the City of Albany. Um, mm -hmm. This position is going to now require uh, the candidate to be a certified arborist by the International Society of Arbor Culture. And what was the previous position? Uh, the previous position still exists as the city forester. Um, so this says, this says creation of new job specifications. Is this a new, this is a new title? Yes, these are new job specs. Uh, in civil service, they call them specifications as well. Okay, but this is an entirely new position, correct? Yep, it's a new title. Yep, a new job spec. Okay. Would the current forester um, be considered given his, I mean, are we moving him up or? Are we I believe he doesn't have the certification, but they do have a current candidate that does have a certification and they are uh, putting him in this position as a 2022, or they would like to put him in this position as a 2022 budgetary uh, change. Okay. Can you tell me what, besides the certification in uh, International Arborist Group or whatever that was, what else is this position going to do beyond that of the forester? Um, it's actually not just forestry work. This person is also overseeing um, all city codes related to uh, uh, city-owned properties and private trees that may impact the city right away and things like that. So he's not only supervising the work of the forestry division, he's also making sure they're in compliance with uh, laws and our codes. How many people are in this department? Um, I'm not specifically sure. I can get numbers for you, but I know it's uh, the city forester, assistant city forester, uh, line clearance tree trimmers, and a few laborers underneath that. Okay. Make the motion that we accept the new job spec for the city first position. I second the motion. Okay, passed and carried. Next, the Director of Programs and Supportive Services, the Albany Housing Authority. Yep, so this is gonna be a director um, that's gonna oversee all their planning, development, coordination of different types of programs, including um, HUD, Section 8, um, and there's a lot of other uh, when I was speaking to their HR directors, there's a lot of other programming that they want this person to be able to develop and implement as well. Who is doing these jobs now? I'm not specifically sure. I think this is a new one. Uh, this title is new. It used to be they used to have a previous title that's no longer in use, so they kind of were reviving it, um, but the previous title didn't really fit what they were looking for, so they wanted a new title created. 
And it says in the um, distinguishing features of the class that um, this position uh, functions under the um, general direction of the executive director. The executive director of what? Of housing, the oh. Albany Housing Authority. Okay. Okay. I move to accept this position. Second. Passed and carried. Uh, next, ex executive assistant in the Albany Housing Authority. Yep, so this is a support position for the executive director. Um, the position pretty much mirrors a lot of the executive assistant uh, titles that are used, but is it's, it's specific to the Albany Housing Authority. That was the only change. The qualifications stayed the same, and this is uh, someone that's going to maintain their calendar, their appointments, and work at the discretion of the director. And, and, and are you telling me there's nobody in that position now? They, this, this title doesn't exist. What Well, what provides that support to the director now? What position I mean, does I'm not too sure. I know that she works closely with the human resources director. I'm not sure if they have who works in their support positions over there right now. My question is, um, this is a is this management confidential? This will be. So that's why it's it says PJC exempt. So once we do our rules and resolutions, uh, we would they would we would have to move this into the exempt class. Okay. And what does PJC stand for? Pending jurisdictional classification. Okay, thank you. I don't have any further questions. I move to uh, accept. Second. Passed and carried. Um, Executive Deputy Commissioner of Administration. Uh, this is more of a title change for our Deputy Commissioner of Administrative Services. Uh, it kind of more encompasses what she does uh, by overseeing administration as a whole uh, for administrative services. Um, so they wanted the title to kind of reflect the duties that she's currently performing. So it, it's an it's an occupied position. Just changing the title. It's not Correct. adding a title, is it? This would be a new title. Is it an elevated position? Um, it, it there is some elevation, I believe, in pay um, and and a bit in responsibility. Um, Public records was added to the um, position, so it is. It is in sense of promotion. So she over she now oversees the um, public records for the city of Albany. Thank you, Talani. I wish I could see you. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> I have no further questions. I move to accept. I second. Passed and carried. Next, junior policy analyst. Um, did that not get into the support? That, that did not make it into the. Uh, and I'll say, I can send that um, as a standalone item now if you would like. I'm sorry, I didn't update that. Um, the junior policy analyst is a position being requested by the Common Council. It's an entry level analyst position, and I think I have it so I can send that over. Um, it's an entry level position uh, assisting the research council and the common council in research on legislative and financial research for their for the work that they do. Who's, who's fulfilling that responsibility now? Um, I think a lot of it lies with our current city clerk, and I know that there is a position called a legislative analyst, um, but it it's more of a higher level, so this is more of an entry-level position. And I just sent that to your email, so you should have it very shortly. Okay.
I move to accept. I agree. So, you know, passing. I'm, I'm just questions? getting it. Yep. Uh, I second. Passing, Karen. Okay, safety and training coordinator. Uh, this position is be, being created in the Department of General Services. Um, they're going to be, oh, we made it actually non-department specific because the need does exist in other city departments. Um, but this position is going to be um, overseeing compliance, not only with OSHA, PESH, and other safety and health reg uh, regulations, but also with some of our uh, annual compliance trainings like sexual harassment and, and uh, sexual harassment, uh, workplace violence for a lot of the labor departments, which tend to be a little harder to track and get these uh, safety trainings out to them because they don't have access to computers and such. Okay. Right. Right. I don't have any questions. No questions. Move to accept. I accept. Pat. Okay. Second, passing carried. Senior compliance coordinator. Uh, this position um, is currently, uh, it's a step up from our compliance coordinator. There's different areas of compliance that was added for this position to oversee, um, which also include a lot of our annual um, trainings for employees. Um, uh, and they they over also oversee the MWE e, NWBE programs as well in compliance with that. This position is going to report to the chief diversity officer. Right now, the um, that MWBE oversight is in HR, isn't it? Um, it's under administrative services. So it's under our commissioner of administrative services right now. Isn't there somebody tasked with MWBE oversight in HR and the HR unit? Or uh, so the person who's actually moving into this title, she's our compliance coordinator. Um, so this would be a step up for her and she works in administrative services. Um, she doesn't work under HR, but she works in administrative services. We all work under the same department. Okay, but we're creating a new position for an existing person, correct? The position currently reports up to the chief diversity officer, but um, since the position is vacant, it currently reports up to the uh, commissioner. I thought the I thought the position was filled currently. The chief diversity officer. No the the comp the MWBE oversight position. The responsibilities associated with MWBE oversight exists and sits within HR, as I understood it. So the position, it doesn't sit in HR. It's un, it's, it reports to the, uh, to the chief diversity officer. Uh, the person that currently occupies the um, position is a compliance coordinator. So this mm -hmm. position is also a promotion for her. So we'd promote her and then backfill her into the existing position she now holds, correct? We may not backfill it, it may just be what her new title is as a senior compliance coordinator because of the extent of the work that she does in that position. Okay. Uh, make the motion and we accept it. Second. Passed and carried. Uh, senior services coordinator. Uh, this position is for the Department of Recreation, so it's going to be a position that's tasked with coordinating all senior services uh, for city events and city uh, initiatives uh, and working with other senior services group um, under the supervision of the Commissioner of Recreation. Do we have a site where there are like uh, community agencies that fulfill this position? 
Um, I'm not sure specifically where they'll be working out of, um, probably out of Hoffman, which a lot of their uh, coordinators and type of administrative work uh, staff work out of. Um, but the, the events and the programming will be at local, at several recreational centers. We currently, I know the Healthy Aging Fair is a big one. Um, so this person will be coordinating that annual fair and um, enhanced senior programming for the city. Is this position mainly um, focused on Albany housing residents or city as city in general? No, this one's for the city in general. Okay. Okay. I have no further questions. I make the motion we accept it. Second. Talking. Passed and carried. Okay. Um, agenda item eight, amendment of job specifications, communications coordinator. Yep. Um, so this one, the only thing that's being changed, the need exists in several other city departments. So we're seeing that a lot of departments are reaching out, um, wanting to adopt positions like this into their departments. Um, the previous position required a master's and five years of experience, a bachelor's and seven years of experience. Um, so it was requested that the minimum qualifications for this uh, would be a little lesson to allow for a larger applicant pool. How many of these items, this line item, or how many of these positions exist in the city now? Currently, we have one in the mayor's office, and then in our 2022 budget, um, this position is also being adopted into the DG Department of General Services. Uh, make the motion we accept. Second. Aye. Right. Passed and carried. Uh, any old business? None to report at this time. Thank you, Tatiana. Um, so uh, before the, the the commissioners, the um, there is a fire exam or there's a, a swearing in for the fire department tentatively scheduled for the first week in February. And as it stands, our next scheduled meeting would be January 26th. We have at least one candidate from the fire department who may appeal his non-selection uh, as stated, stated earlier as agenda item number five, I make the motion that we move next month's meeting to the 19th to accommodate any additional testing that may be deemed appropriate for that candidate so as to have him available for the swearing in of the... I think it's the third. Well, I don't have a specific date. I just know that their their target is for that first week of um, of February. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the fourth actually. Um, but still, if we move it to the nineteenth, it should give um, us and human resources and the fire department adequate time to if if we approve any appeal that may come in. There's a lot of ifs there. It should afford the department and the candidate enough time to be um, to be examined again. Uh, so so that would make them available for the next class. Commissioners, is that a conflict for either one of you or do you have any feelings on that? I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'd make the motion that we move the next meeting date to the 19th, same time, 4.30 p.m. on the 19th, January, 2022, um, and we'll have all monthly business on that agenda. I'll send out a public notice accordingly. Okay. Um, any other new business besides that? Nope. None at this time. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for attending. Uh, commissioners, everybody have a great New Year's. Thank, thank you. you. Too. Thank, thank you. you. Happy New Year.